Hey everybody and welcome to AK Pro Films and on this video I'm going to do some back tips and tricks and this will be for episode number three. So on this video I'm going to show you how to increase the size of these icons on the desktop and how far they are away from each other such as the grid spacing and I'll go over some other preferences like that. So with no more further ado let's jump right into this Mac tip and trick. So moving right along with this tutorial, all you have to do is right click on your desktop and go to show view options. When you press on here, this preferences pane will show up with the desktop things that I will show you, such as the icon size, the grid spacing, the text size, and uh, all those other things. So let's increase the icon size. So right now I have it by 50, 56 by 56. You can increase the size like that if you want to and I'll leave that there right now and you can adjust the grid spacing and so on and so forth. And so you can have a uh, larger grid spacing or a shorter grid spacing. So that's pretty sweet like that too but I'll just move it back to where it was and you can also adjust the text size so let's say I want it at 16 I can leave it like that but let's just put it back to around 12. You can adjust the label position, such as it having it at the bottom. So this AK Bro Films would be at the bottom, but we can have it at the right as well, if you want it to be like that. You can also press to show item information, so it'll show you the size of the certain item. And you can also say uh, show icon preview, so if you don't want those previews and you just want the uh, logo of the program you made it with on you can adjust that you can uh, uh, sort by all these different options but I'll just say snap to grid so it'll adjust it to a grid layout so if I just want to do it in a four and uh, in like a four pattern right here you can do that and then from here you can adjust the grid spacing and so on and so forth so you can really adjust it to whatever you want but I'll just leave it to none so I can freely move these around the desktop. So I'll bring this back to where I had it originally, 56 by 56, and I'll just leave the grid spacing there and all the settings just where they were. So that was a very easy and short tip of customizing your desktop icons. And so this concludes the Mac Tips and Tricks episode number three. So make sure to subscribe to be notified of the next Mac, and tr Mac tip and trick video that I will put out. And I hope this helped you guys. Please comment, rate, and subscribe. Let me know if this helped you. And also, if you have any help or any questions, leave those down in the uh, comment section below. And make sure to go to akprofilms.weebly.com. So I'll see you in my next video. And make sure to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.